Hey everybody, Substatica here. In this video, I'm going to be setting up the PlayStation VR 2 adapter on this machine so that I can play Steam VR games on my PS VR 2 headset. Before we get to that, take a minute to click the S in the corner to subscribe. Heading for 50,000 subscribers, I'd love to have you on the team. Also like, share, leave a comment, let me know what you think of the video or of the PlayStation VR 2 PC adapter. Let's get into it here. This is a Windows 11 machine. I've set up the PlayStation VR 2 PC adapter on another machine, but I've not done it on this one. I've heard that some people have had some trouble setting up. It went smoothly on my other machine, so we're just gonna have to see. I'm gonna open up Steam and launch the PlayStation VR 2 app. And we'll take it from there. Okay, it looks like it's still loading. Oh, we have a cursor again. Get started. Now it's time to pair the controllers, and that is done through Bluetooth. I'm going to attempt to use the Bluetooth stack that is built into this machine. You can get Bluetooth dongles, and I've heard some suggestion that you should put them on an extension USB so that they are away from the machine, and that may give you better tracking. I didn't have that experience on my other machine, but we'll see how things go here. Okay, I'm going to switch to my Bluetooth settings. Now to put the controllers into pairing mode, you need to hold the HMD reset button, the long pill shaped button, as well as the PlayStation button. And the light on the controller will start to flash rapidly, at which point you should be able to discover it. There we go, there's my left controller. And it is connected. Let's do the same thing with the right controller. Again, the long pill-shaped button as well as the PlayStation button. Hold them both down for about three to five seconds. You get a fast flashing light on the controller, and there it is. Right controller is paired as well. Okay. Let's go ahead and close the Bluetooth settings, and it's detected that the controllers are now connected. Next. This is all connected already. We've connected to a display port. We've connected to USB and the headset is connected to the adapter through the USB Type-C connection. We also have power connected to the adapter, and that is this screen. There is a little red light on the adapter that will tell you when it is powered. Okay. Connect your VR headset to the adapter and press the power button. Let's go ahead and do that. I have a red light on the headset right now. Pressing the power button, it has turned it to white. Next. Your VR headset is connected. Next. Okay, a bunch of safety warnings. We're gonna go with limited data. Connect headphones, okay. I'm going to put the headset on and then connect my headphones to it. All right, that is done. Put your VR headset and controllers down within easy reach. Make sure that your VR headset is turned on, okay. All right, it started up Steam VR. I believe I'm likely seeing the same screen in the headset. Let me just check. Okay, I am indeed seeing this screen in the headset. Now, I may have to edit some portions out here because I don't want you to see my pass through. But other than that, this will be the process. Okay, so press the function button and hold the function button to go back. 
I already picked it up and I already put it on, so let's proceed. I already have it adjusted. This is just walking us through the headset fit. This one has a timer, so we can't actually proceed until that timer at the bottom has expired. Okay, now we can proceed. Walking us through the IPD adjustment. My headphones are already on. All right, we are now in Steam VR with our play area set up. I am going to start The Walking Dead Saints and Sinners Chapter 2 Retribution. All right, now one thing you're going to have to deal with when using the PlayStation VR 2 PC adapter is some binding issues with Steam VR games. So for Retribution, I created a community binding, so head into controller bindings, choose another, and look for Substatica's PSVR 2 controller bindings, and then click activate. And you should be good to go. It is nice to see the OLED contrast, the inky blacks. Okay, let's just head to Hotel Eclair. Alright, here we are in Hotel Eclair. Now, the great thing about playing on PC is that we can use mods, which aren't available for the PlayStation version. Colors are super vibrant. Tracking seems alright. I can just see a little hint of Mura. But overall, it looks great. Look at that. Sure is quiet. Well, it looks like setup was a success. Thought I heard another one. The most difficult part for me was setting up the Steam bindings to work properly with this particular game. So some games are going to work out of the box, others you're going to have to either create bindings or find some community bindings. And again, if you have Bluetooth issues, see if you can get a Bluetooth dongle and put it on an extended USB cable. And there you go. The Walking Dead Saints and Sinners Chapter 2 Retribution PC VR version played on a PSVR 2. If you haven't already, take a minute to click the S in the corner to subscribe. Heading for 50,000 subscribers. I'd love to have you on the team. Also, like, share, leave a comment. Let me know what you think of the video. 
or the PSVR2 PC adapter. Thanks for watching, and we'll catch you next time. Put it in the drawer. Put it in the drawer. Put, 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 put it in the drawer. You're a piece of dog shit, Sonny. You're a piece of dog shit, Sonny. Put it in the drawer. Put it in the drawer. Put, put, put it in the drawer.